Hi and welcome. My name is Corey Thorne. I am a modern day mystic in a channel. And I have, over the past few years, built a personal relationship with, with God, with the divine, and all that is in love and light. And a part of my journey has been about the power of prayers. And today I want to share as a gift of gratitude one of my personal one of my personal prayers from my vault of Corey's prayers. So please sit back, allow yourself to be comfortable, close your eyes if you choose, and just allow my voice to just take you to a place of as if my words become your words. You may not even hear my words. They may become your words to God and whatever God means to you. And so let me share this with you. Dear God, the divine, and all that is above and beyond, I woke this morning too tired to face the day. So I returned to bed. I missed my 6 a.m. morning talk with all that I can see because I guess you gifted me with that ability. It made my morning just not the same. But this morning, God, something was not right outside my window. There was no birds, no blue jays and magpies singing and munching away. I was so proud at night at midnight the night before as I opened my door to breathe in the fresh air and say good night to the guardians disguised as trees I thought what a beautiful night to feed the birds they would be so happy that they would not need to knock on my windows and doors to remind me to get at it right after my morning of mom my morning moments of contemplation I would have beaten them to it they would have thought I was up before the birds but that did not go as planned there was no birds God the divine any of you did you see me out there on the crispy cold deck in a robe with no shoes? I spoke with you while I was standing there, surprised that it was not as cold as I had thought in my head. It's amazing what we can convince ourselves of in a day. I believe I may need to understand that even deeper. Someday. I was asking you to part the clouds so that I could see the solar flares. Was I asking for too much? Or should I, have, should I have had graciously accepted the love of that moment? I guess I will wait, wait for a response on that one. And back to those birds. Were they not there so that I could hear the silence outside and the noise in my head? Was it exactly as you had planned? Was this your way of having me focus on myself and the noises that has returned to the places that had been so silent and peaceful for a short while? Please guide me through the valleys of beauty and love to understand my way through the hurt that causes the static and the noise. Walk me, please, to the places of beautiful flowers and butterflies. Oh, and the birds to heaven in my dreams. Through their noises, allow me to breathe into the fragrance and while the singing of nature sings its songs of the seasons, please God, bring me to my season of peace. Lead me through this winter season with all of my reminders that not every moment of every day will the birds sing or the sun shine bright in a blue sky but that it is all still very near, nearby as a reminder that you are 
all there for me when my feet get cold and I want to run back to the comforts. For when the world goes silent or crazy and it's just me, that my mind stays at peace. Please guide me to a deeper knowing of peace. When the fear of another in their silence that just because I can feel and hear all that doesn't mean that it is about me. Guide me to no longer lose my peace because I can feel the world. Please God, I ask of you, I ask of you to lead me to a place where I can wake up singing and my mind to be at peace. God, I ask of you to help me to understand on a deeper level what it truly means to live a life at peace. For that is the life that I truly seek. Amen.